Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how you can add custom text around your sabers for Beat Saber. Um, just a quick disclaimer, this won't work if you don't have the dot um, object or dot fbx files for it. You need the actual 3D model file or else this won't work. You can't just grab any saber that you have in game. You can contact the person who made the sabers and ask them for the files, but Always remember to be respectful as they do this stuff for free and if they don't um, let you have the files then just leave them be, don't annoy them. Okay so for this tutorial you'll need Blender so um, I'm gonna open up Blender here. It doesn't matter what you made your sabers in, this is just to do the text but um, I'll leave a link in the description for Blender. Um, so when you've opened it up you just want to click on general and it should open up here. Yeah, so um, first you want to go to the scene collection and just delete all these objects because they suck and no one likes them. Um, and the next thing you should do is press shift. So hold shift and then press A and make a like curve circle or whatever. Press S and move your mouse to make it a bit bigger. Um, so the next thing you want to do is create the text, so just deselect that, press shift and A, and create text. So here we've got our text, so you want to put your name in there now, so I'm going to go to edit mode. And for this, it's best if your name is between 10 characters and 20 characters, it works best like that, but if your name isn't like that, then you can just do it twice, so for example for me, I would just do purple, purple. Um, if your name was, I don't know, Matt, you could do Matt like three times, something that would work. But you can just do it multiple times depending on your name. Um, I'm just going to call this one YouTube Tutorial because that's what it is. So yeah, you don't have to press enter or anything, just go back to object mode. And now, on the text, you want to click this gear down here and add modifier and select curve. So this will make it go around the circle. You just have to select the circle here and boom. So if we just make it stand up now, as you can see, it's on the inside and we don't really want that. So I'm going to control Z and we need to flip it the other way, so select your circle, go to edit mode, and press F3 or maybe space, it depends, and just type in switch, and then switch direction should come up, so just press enter. Um, now, if you go back to object mode, you can see it's on the inside, so now you want to select your text, press R, X, and 90 and then click to select it. So now we have our text here, looking pretty nice. Um, but it doesn't fully go around the circle, so you wanna zoom out a bit, I guess. Press S and just make it bigger till it fits. So that's good, I think. And yeah, so that's basically it. The only thing we have to do now is change the font because the blender font isn't so great it doesn't have like numbers or anything so if you want to change the font just go to this here the object data properties or whatever it said um select font and click this here so you want to go to c slash windows slash fonts or whatever and i'm just going to use Calibri. And yeah, you can use whatever font you want, but I'm going to use Calibri, which is in Windows and Fonts. Okay, so after that, you want to go to File, Export, Object. You can also do that, but I'm going to do this. Now, I'm just going to call this Saber Text and hit Export. You can close that now. 
And now I'm gonna jump to the second part of the tutorial, which is like getting it around the sabers and stuff. So yeah. Okay, I'm back. So the next thing you wanna do is go to this website here. I'll leave a link in the description. If you wanna make your own sabers for this, this is a guide for it. But um, the reason why I'm here is you need to download this, Unity version 1.6. This is just from the Unity website, as you can see. Um, and then you want to download the custom Sabre Unity project, so just press download. After you've downloaded the file, you want to extract it. So I'm using 7-zip, I'll leave a link for that in the description, but you just want to right click, 7-zip, extract files. Anyway, so you want to open this in Unity now, so I'm going to go do that. Okay, so I've got the Unity project open, and the first thing you want to do is just import your text to the Unity project. So I'm going to open up this folder, just minimize it, and just drag your the 3D object one and put it in. You can close it. You should have it here. The next thing you want to do is go to your sabers. So I'm, I just have the template sabers here. But if you have your sabers, that should work too. And yeah, so drag your saber text into the world. Now duplicate it. Grab one of the sabers and put it under the left saber mesh. Grab the other saber and also put it under the mesh. And now you need to adjust your saber text or whatever, so go into this and just change the scale to like 0 0.01 and do the same with this one, so just make them both, make them both and then do 0 0.1 and you want to do that on every axis. And yeah, so now you can see it here. So maybe make it a bit bigger, like 1.13. I might even go for, these are some thicker sabers, so I might go for thicker size. Um, and do the same thing, so you can just also copy the component, paste component values. And yeah, so when you have them both selected, just hold control and click on them. You can change the rotation, so just change it by 90. Alright, so now you want to select the Sabre text ones, not the default which we had selected. Select this one. Open your animation tab. Alright, so you want to create an animation, so click on Window. And down here, select animation, and then drag it down to here or wherever you want. And then click create, save. Um, now just, we need to find out which one is the one which makes it rotate the right way. So it's not that one. It's not that one. We set that back to zero. So I guess it would be this one, yeah. So on the Z axis. So now what you want to do is you want to um, just hit this like recording button, change this to 1 and back to 0 just to create a keyframe. Now type 120 in here, so this will be 2 seconds. You can just use the middle mouse button and see how far you want to go and move it, but I'm going to do 2 seconds. And then you want to change it to 360 degrees and press enter. And stop recording. So now when we hit play we can see in the scene view that it's rotating but it's only rotating one of them because we only created the animation on one so we'll have to drag that over later but as you can see it kind of slows down and speeds up so to fix that you'll have to click curves and then you can see these like curving points here. 
Um, you just want to like select everything. Both tangents, select linear. And now, as you can see, it's all linear, so now we just need to find Saber Text 1 or whatever it applied the animation on. Copy component, go to the other Saber Text. Right click up here, click paste component as new. And yeah, so now when we play it, it should all be spinning and working well on both sabers. So now what you want to do is you want to press window, saber exporter, and you can type in your author name, which would be for me, purple, oops, um, purple. And then for your saber name, just call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it saber text tutorial and press export and then you'll have to find your file for where you have your custom sabers so I'm gonna quickly go find that and yeah okay so I'm in it I'm just gonna click save it'll do its thing and once it's done with that then you'll have your sabers ready Okay, before I go into game, um, one more thing I forgot to mention is that you should move the sabers down a bit, so, like, it looks, you don't have to, but I think it looks a bit better when you move it further down, and then also change the size, like, make it a bit smaller. I made mine too big, so I'm gonna make it to, like, zero one. And that's too small, so one five. Um, and one thing I have to say is you'll have to mess around and tweak it a bit to get it right. Um, I think this is pretty good, so I'm gonna export it again by going to Window Saber Exporter, just calling it Saber Text Tutorial Two because I already exported the other one, and hit Export. Save. Okay. So here you can see what the sabers look like in game. Um, you'll have to adjust it a bit to get it right, but um, yeah, it should be working for you. Um, if you have an issue or something, feel free to message me on Discord. I have a link for my Discord server in the description, so make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, and bye!